Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problems regarding the root locus. Here, the first problem is open loop transfer function given g of s equal s squared plus 6x plus 10 s squared plus 2s plus 2. The angle of arrival of root loci r root loci means root locus directly. First, plus or minus 5 by 4. Second, plus or minus 5 by 3. C, plus or minus 5 by 2. D, plus or minus 5 by 6. Okay. Here, so in order to find out these, first, what are the poles and what are the zeros? First, what is meaning of angle of arrival? Angle of arrival. So, the, I will write the angle of arrival equal to I will write angle of zeros. I will consider the angle of zeros simply. Okay. Right. So how we will get the angle of zeros generally? Angle of zeros we will write like this. So I can write angle of arrival in case of zeros plus or minus 180 minus 5. This is a formula for angle of arrival. What is the phi? Phi, mean, phi means so angle of zeros minus angle of poles is the phi. Angle of zeros minus angle of poles is nothing but the phi. So first phi means phi z means angle of zeros. Yes. Next phi p means angle of poles angle of poles yeah so here first in order to find out this angle of zeros and angle of poles first we should find out poles and zeros first so to find out the poles to find out the poles simply to get the poles so what are the poles here second order equation is there that is s square plus 2s plus 2 okay so how we will get we will derive, derive this we will get simplify this we will get minus 1 plus j is the one pole and we will get minus 1 minus j is the another pole and we have zeros same zeros that is s square plus 6x 0 means numerator 6s plus 10 we will simplify this we will get finally minus 3 plus r minus r the zeros so we can divide minus 3 plus j is the 1 0 and minus 3 minus j is the another 0 okay these are the poles and zeros first you locate the poles and zeros the first point so i will locate the poles and zeros like this so this is the direction and yes so here yeah first what are the poles so for example this is the point one this is the two one and this is the point two this is the point three this is the one okay and two three like that yeah so i will extend like this okay no problem so here first first pole is minus one plus j so this is the minus one this is the minus one and this is the plus j so i will take this is the point and this is nothing but the first pole so i will take this is the first pole that pole is minus one plus j so this is a minus one this is the plus j what about second pole second pole is minus one minus j so i will take this is the minus one and the this is the minus j so these poles are completed what about zeros zeros is minus three plus j and minus three minus j so this is the i, I will consider this is a minus two and this is the minus three so i will write this is the 0, I will take this is the 0 and this 0, first 0, 
minus 3 plus j is the first zero and second zero is the minus 3 and the minus j is the second zero. So I will take minus 3. So this is the 1 0 and this is the 1 0. This is the poles minus 1 plus j. This is the 0 minus 3 plus j and minus 3 minus j. These are the poles. So what we required actually we required angle of arrival. So in that first we consider the first 0. We will take I will consider this is the 0. This is the 0 I want to find out the all the angles. All the angles. Okay. So I will change the pun. It is very easy. Okay. So it has two angles. It is angle with this pole and this is angle with the this pole. Okay. And this is the angle with the this pole. We have three poles. So I will consider the and I will consider the first angle for angle for minus 3 plus j okay for this so what is that meaning we have to find out for this how much of angle it maintained with all the poles and zeros so look at here this is I will consider this is a pi 1 this this pole is angle with this pole this 0 this is, the, this is nothing but minus 3 plus 0 is with look at here so it has the angle of 180 just take from this 0 and just observe here you will get the angle 180 so I will take as 51 pole 51 pole angle is the 180 okay next look at here here we have the pole is there and this pole has some angle this pole is start from here and end with here this complete angle is this pole with this so I can consider phi 1 so phi 2 angle with the pole so what is this pole this pole is minus 1 plus j is the one pole and minus 1 minus j is the another pole so if you observe here this is 90 degrees directly so I will write this is the 90 degrees so for this pole I will take directly is the 90 degrees and if you observe here what is this angle this angle directly I will write 45 how so this distance this distance is the 2 okay and also this distance is between minus 1 and 3 this is also the 2 so if you apply the tan you will get 45 I will write I will write this is the angle this angle I will write tan inverse of opposite by adjacent this is 2 by the 2 so by solving this we will get 90 plus the 45 so finally we will get 135 so second angle will be completed and look at this is the 0 this is the 0 angle with the 0 what is the 0 value there minus 3 and the minus 0 minus 3 and the minus 0 then what is the angle here this angle directly you will get the 90 directly will get the 90 okay right so directly so finally we have the arrival finally we have the phi value is summation of zeros angle minus summation of poles angle so zeros angle is 90 is the zeros angle and poles angle is the 180 is the one pole and 135 is the another pole and 90 is the other oh two poles only and we don't have zero so by solving this we will get minus 225 minus 225 from this so this this is for one angle this is for one angle okay and but phi what is the arrival arrival is different that is angle of 180 minus 225 and we will solve this we will get 405 by adding this we will write 360 plus 45 360 plus 45 is nothing but the 45 is the angle for 
45 is angle for the which pole minus 3 plus j pole then we will write angle of arrival for minus 3 minus j pole okay this is minus 45 so therefore finally we will write angle of arrival is nothing but plus or minus 45 that is plus or minus 5 by 4 plus or minus 5 by 4 okay so this is the procedure to do the problem when he is giving first you look at it is angle of arrival and departure whenever departure is there you looking at the poles angles whenever arrival is there you looking at the zeros angles from that we have the formula like this whenever zeros angle is there zeros are domination that means angle of zeros minus angle of poles we will get if if you are asking angle of departure then it will be reverse angle of poles minus angle of zeros by using that we locate the poles and zeros by using this just draw the root locus diagram from that just take how much of angle with the particular pole and particular zeros okay then you will finally adding all the calculations you will get the required required pole so this is the important problem regarding the angle of arrival okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you